my uh, family home in Wisconsin here where I've been having a fantastic rest and had two weeks of I can't even tell you what I've been doing, just having really wonderful food, wonderful family fun stuff that I've been doing and feeling really charged up for the trip to Chicago. Going down to the city where I built Oprah Studios in a 38-story skyscraper to see if I can raise some cash for a documentary about the whole 2012 experience. Which I'm having a personal experience with as well. It's not every day you're given a social media assignment by an angelic voice in a dream. I was told on 101010 to have a global event. And a global event we had with events in Greece, Italy, Nashville, and Los Angeles. There's no drugs involved, and there's no craziness involved. It's just, um, I did a, did a lot of work in the 90s in creative visualization, and somehow that fused with this whole 2012 experience, and, and uh, a very vivid Hollywood imagination has produced some fantastic visions. The bean began to glow bright light and then drop into the earth. This healing seed took root and I saw a vision of the skyscrapers of Chicago growing upwards out to the edge of space to touch the dream she had. To be doing this documentary is going to be about what the heck is going on here. I saw celestial beings fill their empty mats. Uh, I don't understand, sorry. Celestial beings, angels, came and sat and where the students were missing. Is this all some kind of shared consciousness? Is it because of the internet and we're all sharing so much together? Uh, or is it, as some people say, uh, ETs? Some people are saying it's religious. That is what the documentary is going to be about. And I saw a giant white tree grow, grow to the stars, grow out to the sky, to touch the dream shield. And the past year has been absolutely amazing had events that I've been part of. My project, as it connects with 2012, is to reduce 2012 fears. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. Whatever forces in my meditation are speaking to or through me, are saying everything is going to be wonderful. And then there's other people that have a much darker view. I look forward to uh, uh, getting down to Chicago and seeing some of my buddies down there uh, who own some of the major skyscrapers in, in Chicago from the days when I was doing that sort of thing. I may do it again one day after 2012, but until 2012, I am dedicated to this fantastic uh, project and finding out what the heck is going on besides lawnmowers.